Hey everyone, Corey from Aquarium Co-op. Today I'm going to teach you how to net fish like a pro, like you've been doing it for 10 years straight in a fish store. It's going to save you time, it's going to save stress on your fish, that type of thing. So make sure you stay tuned. So I think the idea is with this technique, what you do is you put the net at 45 degrees and the idea is I think you try and herd we've got some crabensis frying here we're going to try and herd them into um, the net rather than sort of chase them with the net So as we can see there, I tried to explain how to do this to Joel, and he almost got it right. The problem is there's some nuances there that he didn't quite get, and I thought, yeah, I could explain it more and try and get it to him, or I could just show him, and so that's why we're making this video. So this video helps you catch fish. Thank Joel, uh, he was the inspiration to make this whole video. So first, no, we wanna get a couple of basic rules in. Use a big net, that's usually a good sign, except for like guppies and angelfish, both of them want to be in a net naturally anyway. Also, the more times you lift a net in and out of the water, the fish sense it and they get more and more scared. And the more scared a fish is, the harder it is gonna be to catch. The last thing I would say is that you want to make sure you have a net that doesn't have holes like this if you're catching really small fish. Uh, also, if you're catching cichlids, they're going to be kind of smart. And the overall principle here is make them afraid of your hand, not afraid of the net. And set a correct trap, guide the fish in, and you'll see here how we can get the exact number of fish we want every time. We can separate species, we can do things like that. Also know that not all nets are created equal. So here we've got a coarse net, and what that means is the holes in the net are coarser than another net. Uh, right here, we've got a fine mesh net, and there's a lot more drag when you're moving it through the water, so it makes it hard to catch fish sometimes. But this is really good for handling goldfish, or very tiny fry, or something like that. But if you're trying to chase down a cichlid with this, they'd laugh at you the whole time. The fish are gonna be way smarter and have a faster reaction time than we do, so we have to try and outsmart them and set up the trap, so here we go. So naturally, you're gonna have a way you like to do this. I've gotta do it so we can display it on camera here, but a lot of times I'm gonna guide the fish with my right hand and have the net in my left hand. And I don't hold the net up here. I want as much control as I, like here, it's kind of messy when I'm controlling it. But here, I've got a strong grip. And so what we wanna do is we wanna set a trap. Now in Joel's video, you saw he set the trap kinda of like this, and he was trying to guide them to come in. There's too much of a path. Had we set the net like this, where all of a sudden we make them come around the net and in the front here, if they get spooked, they ran into the net. So that's what we're gonna do here and I'm gonna try and show you multiple times to get better angle. The first thing I'm gonna do in this tank, we're gonna pick a group of Danios. So we've got Danios and we've got a Pistogramma cockatoides in here. And let's say we're at a store or you're at your house and you go, I want to catch seven of these. I can get probably 60% of them in the net pretty easily, but I only want seven. And being that we're using an acrylic tank, we're actually at a disadvantage. I'll show you the advantage of a glass tank as well. But the first thing to do is get your net in there and set the trap. So the trap here, we've got it flush against the glass or acrylic, and there's a gap on the other side over here. We need to herd them around. And you can see, like obviously I've got some in the net right here, but we kind of want to get, oh God, big scary hand, and get them to come around. That's what you want to do is, and we're not, you know, we don't want to be forceful about it. And so then you get, there's a bunch of fish in here, right? Now, you can kind of work the net against the glass, and that's where, when there's no gap here, this is, sits flush and it's a lot easier. But we've got, a lot of people get agitated and they wanna rip that net up out of there really fast. The fish are gonna react really quick and get out of there, and then also you're gonna get all the fish. So I try to work the fish. I'm not worried about letting uh, the fish I wanna catch out, as long as I'm getting the fish I don't wanna catch out as well. And so in here, we're kind of, and you can kind of do the shadow motion with your hand to guide them back in. We've got an Episto in the very back there, a baby one, we need to get out. That's the last one that needs to come out if we were gonna sell this or something like that. Now, if I look in here, we've got, I believe, seven fish. All we have to do, lift that out, and we would have the seven fish we want, right? But now let's say, okay, we, want, we actually wanted the Epistos and we wanna get a pair. They're a lot easier, they're already down low. We can still set up that same trap, and then we're gonna get these Epistos and kinda guide them around 
say I specifically the customer or someone wants this specific one because this is a girl most likely. We keep guiding her around, guide them all around, get all the pistols. So they feel safe in number. The more pistols you can get moving in the same direction, the better. Now you can see here, I now have five epistogrammas. We need to get the ones we want to keep and the ones we don't want to keep. So here's the female I probably want. And let's say I want that male, which is going to make it harder on me. I got to get these Danios out and the other ones out. So the first thing I kind of do is start giving some room off the glass. And people are always super duper afraid of that because the fish are going to get out. But when you act afraid, so do the fish. So what I like to do is I like to get them tucked into the net. Like I want that female and I want that male. So get them tucked in the net and get the male out. It's kind of a, you get them in the net and you scoop them out uh, because they're trapped in that net. So I've got three epistos left. We're going to get those Danios out. So now we've got three epistos left. The female I want right here, the male I want in the back, now Daniel came in and that other Episto, so we're going to get that out. And you can see here, he's not, she's not running away because she's not scared. We haven't done anything scary yet. We're just trying to work that last fish out. And because we're not making super duper fast motions, no one's freaking out. I've got one Daniel left, boom, there. Now that's the exact pair we wanted to either sell to a customer or move to another tank or something like that. So it can be that easy. So. The more times we catch fish out of here, the more harder it's going to get. So sometimes you're better off waiting and trying again tomorrow. But let's try other fish, like some cichlids and stuff like that, and kind of learn how we'd catch them. All right, so in this tank, we've got some Pseudotrophius psilocyte. These are African cichlids. They're very smart. They're very intuitive. And we want to start doing some things that are going to make it easier for us to catch them. So one, uh, it would actually be easier if I had some decor in here. If I had some big rocks, you can use that as part of your blocking off. You put the net next to a rock, and now you've got a way good place to herd them into. But since I don't have that, it's going to be a little harder. The other thing is, it'll be harder because this tank is so tall with this net right here. When I set the trap, they can just swim over it. So you gotta kind of use your hand above and her to get them to stay low. And I'm on a stool right now because if I was standing, they think it's birds and predators and stuff like that. So you wanna be as much as you can down on their level. Make it so you have the least things that can go wrong. So we're gonna push the light to the back. We're gonna get this open, build a trap, and we're gonna go for it. So this time, I'm gonna build it in this corner just because sometimes maybe the, the tank itself makes it so that makes more sense. I gotta get this male out of the cave. This guy would be super easy. This would be cheating if I just lifted him out of here. So I don't wanna cheat and I want him to come out. Now you go out. I want you to actually go in the cave or go in the net where I want you to go. So you can see here, I've got both and because I have it in a glass tank. I'm real close to the glass. They can't get out. So this would be helpful if I was trying to see male and female, stuff like that. You know, what you don't want to do, you can see here, while they're in the net, I can have them in the glass and I can move them around and they're not getting out because they don't know which direction to go. Now, a lot of times, if you do this big upward sweep motion, they freak out so much they jump out of the net and that's a problem. You know, if you're just calm with your fish, a lot of times that makes it just 10 times easier. And yeah, you're saying, they could swim out at any point right now. Yeah, they're swimming the other direction. They don't know. They're still afraid of the big scary hand coming to get them. You know, if I want to get them out of the net, you bring that hand back here and now they'll start coming to the front of the net, you know? So, but even still, let's say, okay, Corey, but you wanted three. I could bring these two out, I could, and that's normally in a storage what I would do, but you can also do this move. So you put your net back down in the, in the trap corner that we're in, and I'm gonna open it a little bit, I'm gonna herd one more in there. So I'm gonna try and just herd the last one because fish find safety in numbers, right? So if there's already fish in the net, they go, well, that's a safe spot, I better go there. So it's almost easier to catch fish when you have fish in the net because they naturally want to go with other fish. So there we go, you saw, oh I let it out as I was trying to show it, but let me grab another one. Let's say, you know, that cross reach just isn't working out for your style. You can set the trap, I've got my left hand here, and now I'm not doing the cross reach as much. I can swoop them all around. And you can see right here, we've got two, three, four in the net. And you just move slow. If I move quick, they'll evade me for sure. So I've got four in the net. 
and let's say we wanted to choose some of them, we want to work them. And so let's say, you know, this one right here has got a little bit of black on its dorsal fin and some stripes, probably a subdominant male. And if the customer or I wanted to move just a trio, I want to get that one out. So I'm off the glass, no one's freaking out. And you kind of just keep moving the, the net until you get the one that you want. He's currently facing that way. We want him to come towards the front of the net and we can kind of do a little dip move and get him out. But we need him to turn around and he's just not willing to do it. They all want to swim towards the other fish. The other tactic you can do is you can kind of get your hand here and guide him with your finger and just go, hey, you need to leave. And, but all the fish are afraid of the hand because we chased him with that, right? But now we've got the three that we want right there. We could catch him, move him to another tank. You can also just let him sit. Like if you really wanted to give a customer a good look or uh, you yourself wanted to get a good look, you can set him up on a net just like this. So, you know, we're, we're perched on the top here and we can have a good look at these fish and we can use our hand down below and we can kind of, you know, separate them out and things like that and just take a look and make sure they're the fish we want to move. Well, I hope that helps. That's, you know, there obviously some practice is going to go on in there, but you can see how you could get really good at it. And once you know the tool of make them be afraid of your hand, not afraid of the net, don't stress them out, don't put the net in and out a hundred times, don't chase with this. There's a lot of drag. It's going to be much harder to chase something down with this than it is to set your perfect trap and guide them in. Thank you for Joel for asking and attempting and making the video and that made me be able to pinpoint where you went wrong and hopefully explain it well enough so that everyone can do this process. So if you like this video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed already, you should probably think about it. We do a lot of fun things. We do tutorials like this. We do fish room tours, all that kind of stuff. We have the podcast and in general, we're just out to have a good time. So thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.